Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 16 on complex functions. In this lecture, we are going to discuss uh, one simple problem which was asked in GTU winter 2019 examination. So here the problem is about finding real and imaginary parts of this complex function f of z equal to z square plus 3z. So this is very easy question. Uh, we have to write our complex function f of z in this form some function of x and y plus i times some function of x and y so we have to decide this u and v which are real and imaginary parts of this f of z so we have to start by taking z equal to this uh, complex uh, variable so z equal to x plus i y so we will substitute z equal to x plus i y in right hand side and we will try to convert our right hand side in this form something plus i into something so for that uh, we consider f of z so we put z equal to x plus i y here and here so it is square of x plus i y plus 3 times x plus i y and we simplify this we can apply the formula of square of a plus b in complex analysis also so here it is x square plus 2 times x into i y plus square of i into y and we multiply this 3 with this bracket so we have 3 x plus 3 i y so now this is equal to this we can rewrite as x square plus i into 2xy this is i square into y square plus 3x and here we can write i into 3y now we know that i square is minus 1 so we put i square equal to minus 1 first and we keep other terms as it is so here i square is minus 1 plus 3x plus i into 3y and here we can write in the bracket that we have used that i square is minus 1 now we combine those terms which do not contain i so these are the terms which do not contain i so we combine all those terms x square minus y square plus 3x and we collect coefficient of i so we take i common from these two terms and here we have 2xy i into 2xy plus i into 3y so we can see our function is in that form now u plus i into v so we have written our function in standard form f of z equal to u plus i v and therefore we can write real and imaginary parts of our function f of z so real part is that portion which is which is not multiplied with i so this is the real part x square minus y square plus 3x and imaginary part is nothing but coefficient of i so here we write coefficient of i which is 2xy plus 3y okay, so in this way we can decide real and imaginary parts of any complex function all we have to do is we have to write our function f of z in this form something plus i into something and the part which is independent of i is real part part which is multiplied with i is imaginary part so this was very easy question and it was asked in gtu winter 2000 19 exam so sometimes they ask you to find out real and imaginary parts of complex function okay, so all you have to remember is take z equal to x plus i y in the right hand side of given function and try to write given function in this form u plus i into something okay, so this is all about this session i hope you like it